Workshop! Woohoo! Another Friday. One more Friday. Well, what are we doing this week? This week we are going to be testing two different stains. But they're not stains, they're to protect the wood. Yes, yeah, so these are these are clear finishes that go on top of stains or or whatever paint or whatever you do. Um, and so what do we have? We have a polyurethane and we have a lacquer. Yes, so we're going to do half of this board on lacquer and half of this board on polyurethane. If you remember this board from before, we're cheap. We're reusing the other side of this previous experiment. Check out that video. Right there. <laughs> and um, for this video, um, what we're going to do is we're going to do um, polyurethane on the half, and we're going to do lacquer on the other half, and then we're going to test it. Yeah. What, are, what are we testing it with? We are going to be testing it with... Water! Yes! So, does it hold up to water? What happens when it gets wet? Um, we're not necessarily looking for waterproof, but definitely, are they water resistant? Yeah. Then we also have a weird container of coffee. Yes! So that's coffee, that's a K-cup. That's when we're going to make some coffee. And we're going to put um, two cups on there where we put coffee on the bottom, and um, we're going to try to see if we can get coffee stains, uh, cup stains, on, on either side and see, uh, or if they clean up. Yep, and uh, we also have a small crayon for small children. Yes, <laughs> so the crayon. Uh, if you've had any furniture at any time and also have had children, um, crayons end up, uh, either they do it intentionally or they just kind of go off the paper when they're coloring. And so we'll be testing, can we get crayon off? The adult version! Yes! So the adult version of a crayon is a pen. Yes. So, uh, if you're writing or whatever, I happen to be left-handed, so sometimes I rub over where my hand was and then I get it on the surface. Or if you're just writing and um, you go off the page, um, you can do the same thing. Yeah. So, and our last one is Sharpie. Sharpie's the one that scares me. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get it off of either one. Um, I'm really right. interested uh, to see what happens there. So, um, that's going to be this week's video. Yeah, so um, here we go. So we put a P on the polyurethane side and an L on the lacquer side. Polyurethane and lacquer, this has dried actually for a few days. There's one coat on here, one coat of what we normally put on there, we put about the same amount on each one. So how do they do after one coat is the, uh, the experiment here. So uh, if you put more coats on, clearly you'll have different results. Just feeling the texture, um, the polyurethane feels uh, less sticky. Um, it feels uh, smoother. Uh, it just feels rough. Yeah, we did not re-sand and we didn't do anything other than putting the clear material on. So typically, I mean, a lot of times we'll take a paper bag and, and really brush it flat. But we decided not to do that because we wanted to test the finish and not that particular process of finishing. So uh, uh, here's the, how the Sharpie is here. Again, let's go with them. The L is for the lacquer. What? The Sharpie was put on before the finish. Yeah. So we're going to see how it works after the finish. Too. This is how to label it. And when it was put on before, you kind of notice that with the lacquer, it disappears a bit more and it stays more with the polyurethane. Yeah, maybe it soaked into the fibers a little bit more. I, uh, it's definitely faded a little bit more than the other one. I agree with that. So do you want to mark on each one? Sure, which I do. It's like a line. I think probably a zigzag or something. We have marked the, the lacquer and the polyurethane with both the marker, the pen, and the crayon, right? And we made a different design of each of them. Now we're going to go ahead and put on some water. Now, what I can see here is that the polyurethane actually prevented the crayon from completely going on. This one looks a darker on, right? Yeah. The pen on both of them uh, look about the same, and the marker... Uh, look also about the same. Uh, the pen so far looks like they're exactly the same. They, it seems like the pen went on pretty easily. I'm putting one cap of water. And we're going to float that on the oh, pond. It like, bubbles up. And it bubbles up. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like they both bubble. So the water 
Um, looks like they both beat it up on both the poly side and the laminate side. We're gonna let them sit here for a little bit and we're gonna do a coffee mark. This is hot coffee, we just brewed it. And we're gonna use as if it was the bottom of a cup. Seeping through. All right, so um, we're gonna put that on there and we're gonna let these sit for, how long should we let these sit for? Half an hour. Half an hour? Yeah. Let's do, uh, let's do 10 minutes. Okay. So we'll do 10 minutes of the coffee sitting here, the water sitting beaded up, and we'll leave the marks on. And then we'll see if we can get them off and, and um, how easy it is to get them off. And uh, we'll see if anything soaks in through the, through the clear finish. Yeah. So um, we'll be right back. What we've got here on the coffee. So there's definitely a circle on both sides. Now what I can say is that I feel that it's soaked in a little bit more on the polyurethane. See how it's in the fibers here? Yeah. And it's kind of still sitting on the surface on the lacquer. Also with the water, this has kind of drifted and thinned out quite a bit, and it's still bubbled up on the lacquer. It hasn't moved in the slightest for the it, lacquer. It does look currently like the lacquer is more waterproof. There is definitely a water mark for the water, and it completely clears off of the lacquer. Nothing there. Wow. So I don't know if, uh, well, let's wipe this other stuff and we'll... Let's wipe the coffee off. Dad, don't burn yourself. <laughs> so the coffee still makes a ring, and it wipes completely off of the lacquer. So just to show you, here's the ring from the coffee, and um, here's the water mark right here. You can see that it's actually wiped off some of this lacquer. This lacquer's been resting for a few days. I can actually see the mark where that water was right here. Can you see that? Yeah, that is so weird. And this coffee right here, where that's wiped off, this one, you cannot see the coffee or the water. I don't, I don't remember what side it was on. I think it was over here. Yeah, it was over there. Yeah, it's completely gone. So the lacquer is way better on water resistance than the polyurethane, for sure. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take some of these Clorox wipes, and we're going to see if we can get rid of some of these marks. All right, I'm good. So just a cursory attempt, uh, I can tell you what, is that um, although we didn't get all of it off, we didn't really scrub that hard, right? I don't know. <laughs> um, that it did, the crayon was coming off of the lacquer a little bit, right? Polyurethane. It, it wasn't in the polyurethane as much, uh, it which is surprising. Like, it, it was fading a little bit, but it was mostly just spreading out. Well, and also I think using the wet wipe Actually, because it's not as waterproof, dug it into the material. It feels like it's below like the surface now. Yeah. Um, it feels like, like it's one with the ball. Rather than wiping off, this one feels like it was on top of the surface. This one feels like it penetrated the surface. And when adding water, it pushed that as a stain into the surface. Um, the pen didn't really come off of either of them. And um, I, I can see a little bit of fadedness on the lacquer for the marker, but not a lot. I think with a different chemical, maybe we can get that off. Maybe here too, I don't know. It just doesn't feel. So if I was just going to put these side by side and say, what protectant would I use? Um, honestly, just side by side, I think, I think lacquer may be the superior clear finish. Um, I believe that too, because it also got off the water stains while the other one didn't. Yes, so it, fe it felt um, like it went on easier. It also dries within an hour. I mean, if we wanted to, we could put another coat on here. These are just after one coat, by the way. Um, so I feel like with the lacquer, um, I, I think it's a superior clear coat for at least these particular purposes. Um, and definitely, waterproofing, it feels a lot, I mean, it's just obvious, especially with the coffee stain there. Um, that coffee stain is very, st still very obvious here on, uh, on that. So if I was gonna use like a surface, that one was the biggest one for me, how that water just wiped up, but on the polyurethane it went in. So for me, what do you think? That's, I think that's I, yeah. the better. The I better think it's product. better to go with the lacquer because the lacquer, you can actually get the liquids off. Yeah, so we're gonna say win for the lacquer. Anyway, um, like and subscribe and click on that bell notification.
And until next time. See ya. See ya.